on November the 8th, 2010, 10.15 p.m., Los Angeles County Sheriff shot and killed Robert Lewis Thomas Jr., a 21-year-old black African-American male during a foot pursuit near the intersection of 123rd Street and Wilmington Ave in the city of Willowbrook. Witnesses of the shooting had this to say about the sheriff deputy involved shooting. Get already on their guns already. The first one walked past him. Well, who got something? Everybody did this. He never gave the second one time to pass, and he just ran. For what? I don't know. He ran. And then he that big right boogie here, up, sweet baby, his sight, sister up. Killed my nigga. Shot him 12 times in the back. Okay, did the police say that, I mean, did they roll it with lights on or off yeah, the the lights, that's it. Oh, they were on. They okay. chased him, didn't say freeze, didn't say stop, nothing. didn't say police, didn't nothing. say nothing. nothing. They didn't say freeze, well, I'm a shoot, they didn't rights. say none of that, they didn't say freeze, I'm a shoot, stop, I'm an officer, they didn't say none of that. That is the procedure. When you're chasing somebody, you supposed to say freeze, stop, or I'm a shoot, baby. You didn't say none of that. You shot this man 12 times in his back. How was he ever to pull a gun out on you and them all back shots? Tell me about, tell me about Robert. Robert. I'm calling him June. June was a, he didn't deserve this. He was a well. Oh. He was, he was, a, he was a great young man. And he wanted better for his life. He was working. He always tried to keep a job, always trying to find a job. He was actually supposed to be to work yesterday. Probably around the time this happened, or wouldn't have been here if he was at work yesterday. Robert was there. He was just great. Always happy, always smiling. He ain't never, he always making jokes. And if you see it, it's too sad. He's gonna, he always try to comfort you and, and come with you with a joke and, and to make you smile and cheer you up. He wasn't no bad person, he didn't deserve this. If anything, I don't really even know what happened. I'm just coming to see where it happened at, but. What did you hear? I, I heard that he got shot 12 times by the police. And the police well, we just shoot him and he could have tasered him. Like he was that close, he could have tasered him. He did not have to shoot him. And it's sad. It's very sad. Showed up and they just they, they showed up with their guns drawn. Like they didn't say nothing. They already had their guns out. So they knew what they was coming for. Did they say what they wanted or no. who they were looking for? Nothing. No. And then Robert ran. Mm-hmm. And they had to shoot him, like in the back, I guess. Right. Did he have know. a gun, do you know? They didn't no. Shoot I don't know. But he didn't, he wasn't aggressive towards no, them? No, he never said nothing to them. They never said nothing to him. Just happened just like that? Mm -hmm. It happened all in two seconds. Did they say stop, come back, anything? Did they say? Not that I recall. All I remember is hearing is the gunshots. And that was it? Mm -hmm. Then you came over there. Was he conscious at all? When no, he was just laying there. And it take the ambulance literally 20 minutes to get here. That don't make no sense. Like that long, don't make no sense. 